everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I'm doing my 10 cards one kit using the Simon Says Stamp August 2017 card kit. Now this is a little brief overview of what came in the kit. You get your inspiration sheet and you get five pieces of cardstock. The cardstocks are orange peel, banana, ivory, slate, and mint. You get some puffy stickers. These are from Pinkfresh Studio along with the paper pad from Pink Fresh Studio. You get 16 pattern papers. They're single sided. Um, a lot of like abstract designs in this kit. So um, that's your paper pad and then you also get a bottle or a jar of WOW Cloud9 embossing powder. Really pretty glittery embossing powder. I actually stamped my little envelope here and I wanted to show you what it looked like when you embossed. It's so pretty and shiny. Um, you get a Distress Oxide ink. This one is Cracked Pistachio, which is woohoo, good thing because I don't have this one. I'm slowly building my stash, so that's great to have. Of course, you get your little sucker, and then you also get the exclusive You and Me stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. So that's what came in the kit. We're going to jump in with card number one. Now, I found this kit to be a little bit challenging for me. I mean, I liked it a lot, but I... Um, I, I wasn't sure on how to use the stamp set so what I decided for this card is I took the um, the long stamp that had the arrows on it and I'm going to stamp them um, using the cracked pistachio with distress oxide ink and I stamped it on the mint cardstock and then I decided I'm going to stamp it again on this piece of um, white cardstock that I scalloped the edge with for this one Actually, I changed my mind and I decided I was going to do that stitched stamp edge. So I stamped that one on that scallop paper there. Once I got that done, I trimmed down a piece of this real pretty cardstock that had the pluses all over it. And I'm just going to adhere my scallop edge to the side here. And then using some fun foam, I'm just going to pop that up on my card base. Okay, now that I have that done, we need a sentiment. So, in this paper pad, there's this um, this piece of paper that had a whole bunch of squares on it. So I'm just going to cut out one of the elements. The, this element says live more, and it's a perfect square, so I thought I'd use that. I'm just going to use some foam tape and pop that up. I'm going to place it in the bottom corner here. And then once I got that done, I decided to use some puppy stickers. So I figured the love where you are matched really nicely. So I'm going to place that on the bottom there. And then I'm also going to add the today on the top, the, or the little orange puppy sticker that says today. I thought that would add a pretty color contrast to this card. And in the puffy stickers, there's these itty bitty triangles. I guess you can call them arrows. So I'm going to place three of them there. And then there's one stacked arrow that I placed on top of that. And I did add that little remember puffy sticker to the side of that um, little square that we cut out. I added some clear sequins, and that's it for that card. Card number one. Okay. Now moving on to card number two, I'm taking my stitch rectangle die and I'm going to cut out a panel with this cardstock, or actually with this pattern paper here. Now I wanted to stamp the sentiment that says love everything about you, but I left this in um, because I wanted to show you basically what I, how I messed up. <laughs> I stamped the love and boy oh boy did I mess that one up. Okay, I smeared and much. I don't know how I did it. I even practiced it on the side, but I messed it up. So I decided just to cut out that white part. I'm going to cut out my mistake. And so basically all that I have left of that panel was the diagonal lines there. So I put it in my Mini Misty and I taped it down to some the slate cardstock. I used my pencil to mark where it was and then I went ahead back in with the love and everything about you and stamped it using some Versamark ink 
And then I decided to use some, this is Glacier White Embossing Powder from Nouveau. And I just went ahead and heat set that. So it, basically it's the same concept I was going for. I just had cut out that white part. And actually I, I kind of like the way my mistake turned out. I added some um, pattern paper to where the marble paper was and and pop them up with the, the see the little triangles to each side of it. I popped those up with foam tape too. And then I took the little um, outline of a heart and I stamped that at the beginning of my sentiment and, and then again at the end of my sentiment. And then I'm filling it in using my white gel pen. Um, and I'm going to leave that card just like it is because I think it looks pretty neat. At the end you'll see close-up pictures and I, th I think um, I think this is a great idea. Um, not bad for a mess up. <laughs> okay, now for card number three, I really like this. This was in the pattern paper as well. I'm going to actually make two cards with this paper. So I wanted to doctor it up a little bit. I wanted to give it some shimmer and shine. So I'm taking my Versamark ink and I'm taking the heart and I'm stamping it on the inside of the O. And then I'm using my Versamark pen and on the M and the V there's some diagonal lines and so or, or some straight lines and diagonal lines. So I'm just going to go over that using my um, Versamark pen. And then again I'm going to take my WOW embossing powder which I'm falling in love with. I love the shimmer it gives. And I'm going over those areas and I'm just going to go ahead and heat set those. But I think it just adds a lot to kind of a plain card. Now I wanted a little bit of dimension so I grabbed some embroidery floss from my stash and then I, I threaded it with a needle and then on the bottom of the more of this cardstock here, actually it's, I keep calling it cardstock but this pattern paper, um, are like cross stitch lines. I decided I poked holes in the top and bottom of every, of every one of them and then I'm going to cross stitch basically. I taped one end to the back and then I'm just threading it through, crisscrossing as I go. And I think it's just something simple like this um, adds a lot of dimension to um, a somewhat plain card. And so I really like the way this turned out. Actually the cross stitch that was on that piece there was orange and when I covered it up with my white um, embroidery floss um, you couldn't see the orange anymore. But next I wanted a little bit more dimension so I'm taking a little itty bitty stitch circle die and I'm going to cut out the middle of that O. And then I took some pattern paper, placed it below and then using my stitch rectangle kind of as a guide where to, where to place it, I'm going to cut out that. Using my tape runner I'm just going to adhere that bottom piece of pattern paper to it, creating kind of like my panel. And then using that same embroidery floss, I'm going to tie a bow. I doubled it up, and then I'm going to tie a bow to the left of the card. I'm just going to trim off the ends. Lovely. I'm going to pop that up with some foam tape. And then I'm going to place that on. This is the banana cardstock. And by the way, all these cardstocks um, are standard A2 size cards. I just took the standard size paper, cut it in half, and then scored it. And then last but not least, I want to take my little heart that we cut out and place that directly on the banana cardstock. And I, I think um, just little bits and pieces for this card really add a dimension to, to a somewhat plain card. Now moving on to card number four, I decided I had a lot of scrap papers. So I took my stitch circle dies and I'm cutting a whole bunch of circles out. Just using kind of basically whatever scraps that I have. I'm kind of making sure that they coordinate well together. I ended up cutting out seven circles here. Um, small, medium, large, and then really tiny. And then I took this, this is like a grid, grid paper that's tan color. I cut that out using my stitch rectangle die. And then I'm adding a piece of fun foam to the back. And then before I stick that down, I wanted to arrange my circles. So you'll notice some of them I pop up with some foam tape and then some of them I glue directly on that, that panel there. I think this is a great way to use up your scraps. And so, um, and I love because all the papers coordinate. 
so it's really nice. Just kind of figuring out my placement. And I do like the idea of that the circles are kind of hanging over. Since the panel was, um, it's about a half an inch all around smaller than my, my card base, I like that it, they hang over a little bit. Just kind of finish up placing these and popping those up. Once I have that done, I'm going to grab those puffy stickers, which are really neat. They're actually really super soft. I mean, if, if you could put these in shoes, it, <laughs> it sounds funny, but they would be so comfortable. But I took the circle puppy sticker and placed it on one of my cutout circles. And then I decided to use some of those little triangles and just kind of place them everywhere on the card there, here and there, just to add a little bit more color. And I did add the Be Who You Are and Do What You Do on the bottom. I just removed the backing off the fun foam and placed it on the ivory cardstock. And then add a little shine. I'm going to throw in some clear sequins. And that's it for that card. Okay, now for my next card, I wanted to use this puppy sticker. Um, so I'm using my scissors to cut this out. And the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want to have to hassle with the sticky backing. What I'm going to do is grab some, this is the ink a uh, masking paper. I want to cut out a rectangle slightly larger than that sticker. So I, this way, I, with the plastic on the back of that puffy sticker, it's easier for me to, to just cut around it. So I'm just going to cut out a slightly, slightly larger mask. Okay, there we have it. And then I'm taking some watercolor paper. Now my water, watercolor paper has two, uh, rough side and a soft side. I decided to use the, or soft side, <laughs> I was thinking about those stickers. <laughs> okay, it has a rough side and a smooth side, so I'm using the smooth side and I'm just going to stick my mask um, very firmly on that watercolor paper. Next I want to be using some of those Distress Oxide inks. I'm going to start off the one that came in the kit, the Cracked Pistachio. I'm going to just add some to my little mat here. And then I'm going to go in with some Ice Spruce and then finally some Worn Lipstick. I'm just going to take my spray bottle, add some water to that to get it nice and juicy. <laughs> and then I'm going to just smush away. Now I'm not really good at smushing, but I think the color combination turned out really pretty for this card. Okay, I let that dry and I'm going to peel off the mask so I have a white area behind there. Next I decided to cut, well I cut this out using a small rectangle die. And since the ice spruce is kind of a grayish color and I had um, that on my desk. Oh, you know what? I'm jumping ahead. Before I did that I took a piece of white cardstock and cut that out. And then in the stamp set is this like a L shaped line stamp. And um, I decided to use the lines and create some lines on the bottom of this white cardstock here. I used the same colors as I did when I made my smushing panel. I started off with ice spruce and then I'm going to go in with worn lipstick, making sure I just clean that off really good before I, I stamp again. And then, um, and then I did do another layer using the ice spruce. So I have three in the bottom. I'm just using my taper. Oh, actually, I, I'm going to use the mint card base for this. And using my tape runner, I'm just going to secure this panel directly on my, my mint card base here. Okay, got that done. And then I'm going to go back in with my little swished paper. And here's where I decided to add some of that. I had that embroidery floss. It came with white, black, and um, gray, so I just used some gray. And I think if you had Baker's Twine, it would work perfect too. I'm going to peel off the backing of that sticker, place that directly in the center of that masked off area. And I just want I think that's a nice way to, to highlight any sentiment, or in this case, the puffy sticker. 
I went ahead and added um, four of those little triangles to the top and the bottom. And that's it for that card. Real pretty colors. Okay, this next card is super simple. Um, so I, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off this, um, I want a, some of these stripes and that orange stripe in the middle of this pattern paper here. So I'm just going to trim that down. There, and this, in this kit, I'm just, and then, um, this paper here is actually the other side of that Live More. I'm just going to trim that down to where it will fit on my card base. Okay, and then I'm taking the pattern paper that had the X's and the O's and I trim that down. And then I decided to take that that strip that I had cut out earlier. I'm going to trim that down just so it basically has three colors on it. I don't need it. I didn't need all those stripes. So I'm going to trim that down again. I think that it's going to work out much better. Okay, for this card I'm going to be using the orange peel cardstock. And then I thought I could just add a little bit more to it. So I'm taking the stamp, the sentiment that says you are incredible. And I learned my lesson with that other card. So I'm using my mini Misty. I'm going to place that right over the stripes on that paper there. And then I'm just going to stamp the sentiment with some VersaFine ink. Okay. Now I'm just going to take the tape runner and, and glue that directly on my card base. This kit was um, loaded with sentiments. And so um, instead of trying to figure out the design of the card, um, it was hard to explain. I, I um, it was a little bit tough for me to come up with ideas using the other elements in the the kit. I don't know if you if you understand, but um, but I think this was the outcome. I think that the cards turned out really pretty. Here I'm just taking that strip of paper and I'm adding it to the X and the O papers, and then I'm going to pop that up with some foam tape. And then I'm using a puppy sticker. This is the one that is a square shape, but it's um, turned at a diamond shape. And I'm going to place that kind of towards the bottom. And then I am going to um, add a little bit of foam tape right behind it so it evens out there. Okay, now I wanted to add a little bit of dimension to this, to this card. So I'm just going in all of those O's with some glossy accents. That we have a little bit of texture on the card. And that's it for that one. Okay, we're just going to move along to my next card. Now, I'm using the ivory cardstock for this, and I'm stamping that L shaped stamp with the stripes using some Versamark ink. I'm going to stamp it in the corners. Now, Honestly, I had no idea what to do with this stamp set. This L was long and I tried to go around the border of it and it didn't work and and so I just ended up just doing two sides. So I'm just going to, well here you can see I did the top and the bottom. I just flipped my card base over and then I added the Cloud 9 embossing powder to give it some shine and then I just heat set that. Okay. Now for my sentiment, I'm taking a white piece of cardstock and I'm just going to trim it down a little bit more and then I cut out some strips of pattern paper. Now um, again, I, this is a great way to use your scraps up. Um, I'm, I'm just going to finish up cutting the strips. So I'm going to end up stamping my sentiment on that marble strip there. So I'm going to grab my mini Misty. This way I know I won't mess up. <laughs> and then I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says thanks. 
and then I'm going to add the second part that says for everything you do and I'm just using my VersaFine ink for this one. And I thought about adding it to that panel but then I ended up not. <laughs> so we'll set that aside and then I'm going to work on my, my pattern paper here. I'm just going to take those strips and add them all along that white piece of cardstock there. Kind of arranging the colors light to dark so they don't, so it kind of flows nice. Okay, once I have that done, I'm just going to trim off all the ends. I think that looks fun. I'm going to fishtail the end of this sentiment here. And I'm going to trim it down. And then I'm going to pop it up with some foam tape. I'm going to place that on my panel there. Lovely. I added some fun foam to the back of that and I placed that directly in the center. And then since the embossing powder was um, really super shiny, I thought it needed a little bit of more shine um, to bring it kind of all together. So I took some clear sequins. These are almost iridescent and I added them um, kind of randomly around the card. And that's it for that one. Okay, now for my next card. This is card number eight. Um, this was a very clean looking card and I really like the way this one turned out. So I'm taking a stitch rectangle die and then a square die and I cut out my panel. So basically I have a panel with a window. And then next I'm taking this pattern paper and it has grid lines on the inside of it. So I cut out a frame using that and then I'm taking the polka dot paper here and I'm going to cut out a thicker frame. I'm going to add the um, the lighter color frame to the polka dot, kind of creating like a, a mat, I guess you could say. And I love the color combinations of this card. I think it's real pretty. I'm going to pop that up with some foam tape and I'm going to place that right over my window there. Very simple and easy, but I think it was very clean and pretty. Okay, I'm gonna... Actually, I just used my tape runner and direct, uh, adhered that to the slate um, card base um, directly to it. And then I'm taking that puffy sticker. It's the perfect size. And I placed that in the center. I did a, I did take the little puffy sticker that says, you make me so happy, and I'm gonna add it right below my little window there. And basically that's all I did for that card. But I really like how clean and neat that turned out. And that's it for card number eight. Okay, now we're gonna move on to card number nine. Now for card number nine, I'm taking a piece of white cardstock and I wanna stamp the sentiment that says you plus me equals awesome. And I'm using uh, my mini Misty. And I wanted to add a little bit of color behind this um, this sentiment. So I'm grabbing, this This is some orange ink that came in a previous Simon Says Stamp kit. So I'm just going to stamp my sentiment using that orange ink. And then I'm going to clean off my stamp really good and add some Versamark. That's why you see me go over it with my powder tool. I'm going to take that Cloud 9 embossing powder from WOW and I'm gonna go ahead and heat set that. And I think this color is gorgeous. It's just so pretty. For my stash, I have a fishtail banner die. I'm just gonna cut that out. And then next, I wanted to kind of tie everything together. So I took this piece of pattern paper that has um, different sized rectangles with different colors, and I'm going in with my Versamark pen. And every single orange triangle on that paper I'm just going over it with that pen. I'm going to later on go over it with the the same embossing powder and heat set that. That way that panel has a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of shine and it'll kind of tie together well. I added a piece of that pattern paper to the right side just using my tape runner. 
and then I decided to add um, some orange baker's twine. I wrapped it around three times and then I'm going to tie a bow toward the top area. Now I was planning on using this, um, this is the orange peel cardstock, but to me it just didn't, with me taking out that orange with the embossing powder, it wasn't flowing right, so I decided to grab some white cardstock from my stash. And I just popped that up with some fun foam and placed it on my white card base. And then I popped up my sentiment with some foam tape. And then I'm going to use some more puppy stickers. I'm going to add the live more with less on the bottom. And then on the top, I'm going to put I put um, the puppy sticker that says so happy together. And that's it for that card. Okay, now for our final card. This one. Um, was another clean and simple and very easy card. And so I'm taking the marble paper and then taking the stripe pattern paper that I, basically it was a scrap paper from one of the earlier cards. I'm gonna pop that up with some fun foam and I, I cut out my panel here. And then I, this is um, the inside of that square frame from the other card that we had made. So I'm just going to use some, some fun foam and place that right in the center. Okay, and then I'm using those squares again here. There's a sentiment that says happy little things you, with the same color pattern paper as that we placed on the bottom of that panel. I'm going to use that. I'm just going to pop that up with some foam tape. And then I'm going to place that in the center. Um, now for this card, I thought the orange paper or the orange peel cardstock would look beautiful, so I'm going to pop that up with um, some fun foam as well. And then I did add those little puppy stickers, a few of the orange ones that were left, and that's it. Those are the ten cards that I made using the Simon Says Stamp August 2017 card kit. And I thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new and want to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, thank you so much, guys, for stopping by. I wish you a lovely day. At the end here, um, I showed close-up of each card that I had made, um, just to show you to show you the details. Um, as always, I wish you a happy and crafty day. Bye bye.